Hi, welcome to uh, an instruction today on how to share multiple screens in your home. So for example, if you have several computers and you would like to control all of them from one master computer, you can do so by setting up sharing. I am on a MacBook Air and this is the blue screen in the background where you see my two hard drives. This window is a computer that I'm remoting into called my Mac Mini and that one I'm actually able to do everything that I would um, if I was sitting in front of the computer itself uh, but it also allows me to share files which can be extremely helpful if you're trying to grab a file from another computer and bring it to a different computer without having to really get up uh, from your bedroom this is a quick way to do it so here I'm gonna grab this movie file and drag it simply to my desktop and there you go as you can see um, I now have the file actually on my desktop and even though I'm going to close this window this file will still be there so the question is how do you set this up on your computers if uh, you're interested in setting up sharing well the first step is you simply go to system preferences under your Apple menu and then you click on a folder called sharing once you click on sharing you select remote management and obviously in this case mine is already on if I would uncheck that um, you would see that my remote management is off so you would select it and make sure that it goes on green you click on the options menu usually I select all of these to be on you hit OK and I would also allow access for all users what that means is any user that you already have on that computer which means any username and password will now allow you to be able to remote in using those credentials so keep in mind when you are remoting in you do need to know the credentials of the computer you're remoting into once that's all set up you're ready to go so the question is how do you access the other computers well here we are back on my Apple Mac Air and I'm going to open that up and if we go on to the side over here um, as you know it was called the mini so here is my mini and I have two uh, choices I have disconnect which I actually did because I was already connected so I should have connect as and share screen connect as will allow you to have file sharing capabilities but what we really want is to share the screen so the first thing I'm going to do is connect and I'm going to put in my credentials for that computer which will be different than the one that I'm actually on and as you can see it worked beautifully because I suddenly have all of these um, drives showing up now I'm going to hit share screen and if it all goes well your screen will show up as you can see here and what's really cool is you can actually run a software update uh, simply from one computer to another and if you have to update several computers you can actually do that it'll continue running the update even when I close the window and that's pretty much how it's done so if you again want the instructions on how to do this you simply go to Apple system preferences go to sharing turn on remote management click options select all of those hit OK make sure the green light is on close that go to your local hard drive and keep in mind uh, you'll have to select the appropriate one here if it doesn't show up here you may not have uh, set it up properly and I'd go back and check remember that each computer will have to have that sharing folder set up in order for you to remote in but once you do you should be able to connect and if you want to disconnect at any time you click the disconnect button and then um, it will no longer be connected well hope that helps and thanks for listening